Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know, like subscribe, and share to help support our channel. If you have not already done so, pick up your free trial copy of the Currency Exchange Planner and check out the all-new Currency Exchange Planner Companion, voted the number one pre- and post-RV planning tool for the dinar and cryptocurrency communities. Also, pick up your free blockchain-based secure Brave browser, and get paid in crypto to surf the internet today. There are many different ways to make money in crypto, the Brave browser is one of the easiest. Both the links are in the description box below this video. For those of you that missed my video yesterday, I mentioned a huge event that will be coming in about 2 to 3 weeks, I placed an article on my blog that relates to this event. I am being told, not to fear this natural event. They will not be able to hide it for much longer, as, Q, stated, from darkness to light, and as President Trump tweeted yesterday morning. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Think telescope. There is a link to my blog below this video, do your own research, I beg of you. You need to protect your digital assets and back up your electronic information now. First article of interest for today, Al Nuziri, Corona's emergency budget is around $50 billion. Economic and banking expert, Samir Al Nuziri, expected, on Tuesday, that the emergency budget that government agencies are currently studying to prepare in light of the expected oil revenues for the three quarters of 2020 will not exceed $50 billion. Al Nusseri said in an interview with Alec de Sad News that the sharp decline in oil prices to 50% compared to its prices before the spread of coronavirus, which Iraq cannot sell its oil by more than $25.30 dollars a barrel, and this means that our oil resources in the best case will not exceed $41 billion for the year 2020, and oil and energy experts expect that there will be an improvement in prices after the understanding between Saudi Arabia and Russia and the OPEC production and marketing cuts and measures taken by OPEC countries and other oil-producing countries outside the organization. Despite this optimism, the expected prices after the improvement do not exceed $40 per barrel humiliation I expect the after budget structure will not to exceed $50 billion. Al Nasseri demanded that the government and its technical committees end the preparation of the emergency budget in the month of April and be submitted to the parliament and approved by a date not later than next May. This requires the existence of a new government with full powers in order to work to implement the budget and start working with it proposing the following. First, implementing a new program and approach financial reform begins with reducing public government spending and reconsidering a comprehensive amendment of the government salary scale for state employees to achieve societal justice and exceeding the large disparity between grades and job positions according to the principle of fairly redistributing income that includes societal balance between narrators be higher and lower salaries based on the fact that the source of income is oil, which is, as indicated by the Constitution, that it belongs to the Iraqi people, and this does not prevent the redistribution of salaries in accordance with the responsibility, competence and professional and scientific experience. Second, reducing salaries, allocations, and social benefits for the three presidencies, the House of Representatives, ministers, independent bodies, special grades, and their own pension salaries who previously worked in these locations since 2003, and at an equal rate to the rate of reduction achieved in Iraq's resources in 2020 with the commitment to secure the salaries of employees with lower, middle, and retired borders and welfare. Third, securing the allocations for facing the corona epidemic of the Ministry of Health in Baghdad and the provinces. Fourth, securing the amounts allocated to the reform decisions that the resigned government committed to implement the demands of the demonstrators, including with regard to granting benefits to the unemployed. Fifth, coordination between the financial and monetary policies to maintain the stability of the exchange rate, maintain the standard adequacy of the foreign monetary reserves of the central bank, and avoid external borrowing absolutely. Sixth, motivating and encouraging the private sector and involving it in managing the economic process. 
Seventh, stop importing semi-essential and luxury items. Restrict importing food ration materials, medicine, and medical supplies, while increasing the food basket for the Iraqi family and building a strategic store of food for at least three months inevitably. Next article of interest. The response of the central bank is procedural related to its law and not to economic logic. In fact, I was not going to respond to the central bank, but to clarify the picture in front of the non-specialist reader. As for the specialist, he knows what I meant in my article on inflationary financing. It is true that I have not worked in the central bank, but I have been a professor of macroeconomics and monetary theory for years. Unless the central bank works according to unscientific contexts that are not consistent with what we have studied. Moreover, over the past 15 years I have evaluated and put an opinion on all central bank reports that come to the Prime Minister by virtue of my consultative work, just as my article does not care about procedural and administrative matters or how to organize the public, assets and liabilities, and accounting restrictions for the central bank but rather I talk about monetary policies and focus on the impact of monetary issuance on the overall economy in a recession situation which is the goal of the paper, perhaps or explain that the following things. First, it is not my responsibility if Brother Hussein, an expert at the central bank, does not differentiate between issuing a new currency and issuing a new cash, so we are close to economists, and we have the picture as I mentioned in my article. Second. It is certain that the new and old currency issuance, but that any dinar that is outside the central bank is on the side of the liabilities and the right of the bearer over who issued it, and I do not know why he supplies this axiom, but he issues the money against deposits with the central bank, this is the natural mechanism for controlling the offer cash is not what is intended in our article, because what is meant in the article is a monetary issuance, exceeding the requirements for regular money supply, and therefore it is tied to the requirements of monetary policy to influence the overall economy due to a recession crisis so the central bank makes the cash flow greater than the commodity flow, which is greater than volume of transactions and thereby contributing to inflationary financing of monetary policy with its policy in ridding the financial economy from recession, creating any inflationary pressures by increasing money supply. Third. If the new currency issuance will create inflationary pressures to get the economy out of recession, then how does it say that this measure is not a tool of monetary policy? Are not monetary policy tools used for the purposes of restoring economic stability due to its imbalance in crises? Fourth, if the central bank lends to the government any purchase of its bonds, then it pays a dinar to the government for the value of the loan, and this means that the dead dinar in the central will be revived which means that the money supply increased, and this means that the cover inevitably expanded and the cover did not shrink, but the effect of the two measures on the economy is the same. Fifth, it is unfortunate that an economist said that the central bank deducted government bonds in favor of government banks, which in turn discounted them for the benefit of contractors in the previous crisis 2014 according to his law and I do not care about his law. I am talking about the result and impact, and I do not know what the difference is in what I mentioned because the result is an offer cash is the same. Money is with the public and banks are part of the money supply in its broad sense. As long as bonds are discounted to banks or deducted directly to contractors, the same will lead to the effect of inflationary financing inevitably. Sixth, the rescue packages that countries made. I also mentioned that it is through the general budgets of these countries, but how the deficit was financed inevitably through the compatibility of an expansionary fiscal policy with an expansionary monetary policy where the central banks sought to issue a cash, so America is now printing $3 trillion, and I do not understand why it is presented at the same point in other vocabulary. Seventh, I would like to refer to my recent book on the exaggerated exchange rate in it. Suppression of the local product and support for the importer, which is entirely dependent on the central bank data as these data show that the difference between the value of private sector imports that the central bank claims is that the currency sale window was found for it and what he sold him $1 in the window for the period from 2010 to 2017, that is, in 8 years, 
up to $202 billion, which is money in foreign exchange that bled without a commodity import. Eighth, I would also like to point out that raising the value of the dinar in an imaginary way has created a big difference between its real value and its subsidized value. This difference is a net addition that supports imported goods in a way that exceeds all margins of customs protection to protect the local product in Iraq, which made the central bank with this monetary policy destroying the base productivity in favor of imports behind millions of unemployed, and Mr. Hussein continues to object to the central bank's call to adopt a strict monetary policy. Next article of interest. Washington intends to monitor the Central Bank of Iraq for this reason. The Lebanese MTV channel revealed, today, Tuesday, the U.S. administration's intention to place the Central Bank of Iraq under supervision for its involvement in withdrawing the dollar illegally, she said. The channel said that its sources in the American administration told it that Washington was preparing for the possibility of putting the Iraqi Central Bank under surveillance because of its involvement in illegally withdrawing the dollar and smuggling it to Iran and its arms in the region. Hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more articles of interest videos are posted. Be sure to check out the Denarian blog, Facebook and Twitter as I also update on those platforms as well. Pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded Currency Exchange Planner and check out the all-new Exchange Planner Companion before you leave. Use the promo code, the Denarian, to get 25% off at checkout when you decide to unleash the full planner's abilities, along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. Register today as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program, if you do not keep your savings in an real asset like gold. You risk everything as the fiat system fails. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold, as tomorrow may be too late. This program is made so even low-income people can buy gold, by offering it one gram at a time, which makes it affordable to everyone. Get involved today, it's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. All of the links to these invaluable programs are available in the description box below this video. Go check them out, knowledge is power, using that knowledge is powerful, over and out for now, the Denarian.